Welcome! It is National Invasive Species Awareness Week, the largest invasive species awareness effort in North America. Hi, my name is Megan Hoyer and I combat invasive plant species and train others in Yellowstone County. That's right, right here in Montana. The number one lesson that I like to share with others is that invasive species are no good to native or natural environments. Whether it be a plant, animal, insect, or other organism, you see, there's these things about them. They have these adaptations that help them outcompete the natives. They also seem to have very few or no predators. Therefore, so once they're released or introduced to an environment, they can wreak havoc. I'm so glad that you're here today to celebrate National Invasive Species Awareness Week. Invasive species can lead to the extinction of native plants and animals, destroy biodiversity, and permanently alter habitats. If we don't do something now, and I mean now, we are going to have even more problems in the future. Check out this cartoon to learn more about my concern. Alex, where is that critter you brought home from camping? What critter? I don't see a critter. You had something in a jar. I did? I. You put it in the tub, didn't you? Just until I can dig a pond for it. Wow, Alex, that's the biggest crawdad I've ever seen. Cool, huh? Yes, but he can't be happy in our tub. He looks kind of agitated. He was fine until Holly started screeching. Get it out now! Alex, this crawdad needs to go back to its natural habitat. But I want to keep him. I'm sure you do, but he'll just die. How do you know? I was nine once. I think your crawdad will like the creek in this park. Are you sure? Well, we can't drive him all the way back to the lake where we found him. So this'll have to do. He's pretty big. I bet he can hold his own. Look out below! Invasive species in the house! Grandma, Grandma, guess what? Our science teacher is taking us on a field trip to the park. We're going to study crawdads. Maybe I'll see my crawdad. That one you brought home from the lake and then released in the creek? I wonder how he's doing. Yum! Those little guys look tasty. Klaus, every year I bring students here to count crawdads. We found that the numbers changed based on weather and presence of predators. Everyone fan out. Leave no stone unturned. I hate field trips. Miss Irma, Miss Irma, we can't find any crawdads at all. Really? Last year we counted 57. You must not be looking in the right places. Let's move this big rock. Hello! Pinchy! You need it already? No, fear. This is strange. This crawdad isn't native to this area. Procambius clarki is invasive. It displaces other crawdad populations. How did it get here? Ask her. I plead the fifth. Alex, do you know something about this huge, invasive crawdad? Um, well, I might have caught him at a lake and then let him go here. What? If you weren't nine, you would be in big trouble. I'll warn Grandma. She helped me. And she's way older than nine. Alex, the
the number one rule of a biologist is never move something from one habitat to another your crawdad was fine in the lake where you found it but here he's heavily reduced the local population reduced as in eaten pinchy no grandma grandma guess what the crawdad we let go in the park got really huge he ate all the other crawdads and he's really a she and she's pregnant this doesn't sound good there's a marine biologist on the phone for you what did your teacher do with the crawdad we released take it to our classroom so we could observe it so all's well that ends well she said to tell you what you did was against the law hey you brought that crawdad home from the lake. Oh, sure. Blame the kid. Miss Irma, I'm Alex's grandmother. The one who released the pregnant crawdad into the creek? I didn't know it was an invasive species. I thought a crawdad was a crawdad. In this case, craw mom. Alex told me the crawdad is pregnant. Will the babies survive in here? They're very adaptable. That's why they're so invasive. What will you do with them at the end of the school year? I'm thinking etouffee. What? I like mine spicy. You? Did you know human actions are the primary means of invasive species introductions? It usually isn't on purpose. Humans are so mobile. It is so easy to travel a long, far distance in a short amount of time. Invasives have been known to be transported in ship ballast, in firewood, on motors of boats, or even like the skit, accidentally released. I hope that you all have a wonderful National Invasive Species Awareness Week. Please remember to do your part and don't let those invasives hitch a ride.